by uh, Kirsten and Milena Rogers definition. Um, I thank you all for your time and for your service and your dedication. I would like to respectfully request a revision of the standing ordinance for um, chicken keeping in the borough um, according to section two, part one, section 101, um, which is the only ordinance that you can find online for um, people here in the borough. Uh, a small animal is um, a chicken. So, and under that, and there's a, a number of other ones, but the chicken uh, falls under that, um, under section, chapter two, part one, section 103, it uh, outlines how you are supposed to keep said chickens. Um, and this is what I have used for a number of years. It's what I printed out when my husband and I started keeping chickens. Um, now, my daughter, who wanted to start keeping chickens as well, asked again, am I allowed to keep chickens? I said, according to the ordinance that are online, you are allowed to keep chickens. Um, all of our surrounding communities, <clears throat> South Fayette, Upper St. Clair, Scott Township, Carnegie, Collier, and Cecil permit chicken keeping. There are, some of them have uh, permits that you need to have. Some of them have uh, boundaries as far as how far you have to be from a roadway or a neighbor's property line. Um, and I would truly just like to um, request a revision of the ordinance. What I would like is because if the ordinance that is um, here <coughs> states that it's you need to have 25 feet from a property line, Many lots in Bridgeville are only 50 feet wide. I would like to 20 feet from a property line. That way you're not um, excluding everybody in town who only has a 50 foot lot. Um, I do think that there should be a limit on chickens. You know, I don't think anybody needs to be, have 100 chickens or 50 chickens or 25, 25 yeah. chickens in their yard. Um, no, no. However, for their own family's consumption. I think in today's world of clean eating, anti, no antibiotics or no processed foods, um, an awful lot of people are um, preferring to have this over the white carton that you pick up in the grocery store. Um, the last thing that I would like to mention and I hate to take up your time. I know you guys have a bunch of stuff to get to. Is my daughter um, got a notice on the 1st of August. And the notice is says final notice. Now, she never got, you know, in my experience here in Bridgeville, if there is a complaint Normally you get a call from the borough or you get a police officer who comes up and says there's been a complaint um, at which time you have the freedom to talk about the issue and resolve it so that there are no further complaints. Um, if there is, then usually you'll get a second notice in the mail or something that says first class mail but for a very first um, communication about a complaint to have a letter like this sent, I don't really think that's meritable. Um, I have a lot of facts about chickens. If you'd like to, if any of you would like to hear any of them, I like I said, I know you guys have a bunch of stuff to get through here. I would, like I said, respectfully request that this ordinance be looked at. And um, in this letter that they sent, excuse me, they um, refer to another ordinance that is not um, viewable for the public online. So 
So I'm not sure where that ordinance came from. And they did not uh, print the full ordinance here in the letter. So I cannot give you any, the only thing I can give you is chapter two, part two, section 201. Thanks, Kirsten. Um, first of all, let, let's, uh, let's address there. There was a legitimate complaint made and even we're not here to discuss the validity of it or, or, or whatnot. Um, our new manager arrived a couple of weeks ago to a stack of complaints in town that had really gone undressed for a number of months. And, um, you know, as we would expect, you know, he's begun to address these issues and, and that's what led to the letter that you got. So, um, that said, you know, our solicitor provided us with some legal opinion on the matter, uh, which in, in his opinion, does support that our ordinances currently do not allow for raising chickens in a burrow. And I'll let him speak to that. Um, the issues come up before and, you know, we've had some preliminary discussions about it. Um, I'm in agreement with you that, you know, in our world today, you know, whether it's COVID or farm to table talk or, you know, all that, that goes with, I think there's room for discussion. I'm one person. Uh, on this on this board, but I think there's room for discussion about it. But I want you to know that the the letter you got was based on uh, a decision that the solicitor did some legal research on. So, Tom, you have anything you want to add right now? Um, yeah, Bill. Just again, just calling kind of balls and strikes on it without an opinion, pro or con. When you look at the ordinance in Chapter Two, even though in the definition section it includes fowl, chickens within the definition of small animals, the operative section technically prohibits fowl. So technically, we do not presently allow them in the borough. And as Mr. Henderson said, if, if council wishes, they are in vogue in many places, um, uh, different regimes that you can go with. I, I, ha I may have in the past and am happy to provide folks want to review potential you know ordinances and even the city of pittsburgh for example down to a 45 foot lot they kind of proportion uh the numbers you're allowed to have within reason no roosters uh sanitation rules and whatnot is what you commonly see in the ordinance but you know hyper technically speaking i do believe our ordinance presently doesn't allow them Okay, uh, you know, again, that said, I, you know, I've had some brief discussions with others and, and the floor is open to any other council people here. I, I think, again, I think there's some room for discussion to, um, to work with uh, you, yeah. Kirsten, and, and some others to, you know, to find a way to, um, to do this where, uh, you know, we're not interfering with neighbors or, or whatnot. So I, if you'd allow us that, some time to come up with that. I, I think that would be wonderful. And, you know, I don't mind saying, you know, they need to be kept in their pen. They're not allowed to range. Um, I don't mind a, a number limit per family, depending on size. You know, the bot family might have needed two dozen chickens in their backyard. But, you know, the Henderson family at one point might have needed two dozen chickens in their backyard. Um, Right now, you know, there are a few people in town that probably only need four chickens to have, you know, fresh eggs on a daily basis. Although there are other people in town that I've spoken to because of dietary um, needs, they eat a lot more eggs than you or I do, you know, and they may eat four to six eggs a day because they're restricted by so many other foods. Um, and I think, you know, in this day and age, with so many of our surrounding neighbors addressing and allowing this, um, I think maybe we need to, you know, catch up with the times and, and get an ordinance that is going to be um, something that's going to make everybody happy. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Thanks. Henderson, I forgot to mention, too, I, I'd be happy, Joe, and I'd be happy to feed some samples to the uh, Planning Commission in advance of their upcoming meeting and let me say i was just corrected on the use of the term hyper technically it's just regular technically it's what it it's what the definition says um uh mr solicitor is it okay if we make a motion on the floor at this time to have this ordinance looked at and reviewed please 
or should I wait till new business? You can do it now or new business. Um, you can direct us to refer uh, samples to the planning commission, actually, and ask the planning commission to make recommendations for you at your next meeting. Uh, just a motion to, re, you know, a resolution, so to speak, to resolve and ask the, the administration and uh, planning commission to make recommendations regarding such an ordinance. Thank you. I would like to do so at this time, make a rec motion for recommendation for planning commission and administration committee to revise and amend this uh, ordinance, please. I'll second that. Bruce. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Our motion passes. We'll get with you, Kirsten, and, and uh, we'll, we'll get something together. Thank you very much for your time. Everybody have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Too. you.